there's anything there in here, no? No. no. So, so, so what do you do? Just stand this? here and talk What we're doing now? Eh? <laughs> stand here and talk crap, get full. And then people get drunk and start putting windows through like that. <laughs> 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 it's not the best bit, it's a drinking. Man in the state today, like. And what's the worst bit? The foreigners. <laughs> the foreigners. Stand here on the weekends, having a drink, a bit of banter, and it's not that has changed in two years. And if nothing does happen, within a year, if any younger, all the wee ones, growing up, it's going to happen and happen over and over again. What these young boys are doing is exactly what we've been doing whenever we were their age, 16, 17. We're 23 and we still kind of do the same stuff because there's nothing really to do around here. So it's just generations coming up doing exactly the same thing over and over again because there's nothing really to do. They come around here and just stand here and talk crap, get a bottle of wine. What more can you do really? Sit in the house with bored. I have a wee fella at the minute, he's only three. And I just I wouldn't like him to grow up, you know, and doing the same shit that I've done really. You know, standing about the bus shelter at three and four in the morning, black. needs to change like. We are a detached youth project working in Portadown, Killigamain, with a group of young people. We engage young people through football and other uh, activity based projects. We view the work that we do as being on a journey with these young people, a journey that will bring them to a better place, a, a journey that will bring them to a safer place. We have been able to do a number of projects over this last two or three months that have been funded by Peace 3 and the Southern Cluster Partnership. They have enabled us to do workshops with the Belfast Giants, to do drama projects, to build capacity, to give the young people a voice, to encourage them to become more involved in civic a responsibility and roles and leadership. And now our DVD project that we've been working on. My name is Louise Little and I work for the Belfast Giants. I'm the community coordinator. We've been working with the group now in Killacomain for, I suppose, the past kind of four weeks. We've been out in community with them. We've had two players coming along and then we finished the session with them all coming up to Belfast and getting onto the ice in the Odyssey. We went the, around the murals and ice skating was good. We get all the gear and stuff. We went to the chain and all. And then we played a match at the end of it and stuff. You got on pretty well too. You were pretty good at it, weren't you? Yeah. It was hard like so it was. Did it with the like, gear and all on too. Did you think it made a difference the Giants getting onto the ice with you? Yeah, they what? Have pl did well, played with us too. What did you think of the Odyssey? It was good so well. This here's the community centre Louise and that's just the football pitch where we play football during the summer and all. Over the summer uh, there was a wee bit of development done on them but it was really just a gold mouse. Over the summer they take the post down and then you're forced to put clothes down on the pitch to make yourself nets. I've been doing it for years and so these young fellas here. Uh, putting clothes down in the pitch making nets causes problems, you know, that was way, no it wasn't, it was in. Starts mm -hmm. arguments, which then leads to fights between the young boys. This is another one of the parks in Kilgamein, just it's where you sit and just mess about. Talk. Sometimes play football over there in the gravel pitch or basketball court. Got a few locations out of the state, like Face Mission and Scott Street, and sometimes Brownloop. Football at a local sports pitch, but can't get on it because it's always bucked up all week. I had to go over there and play football in the dark, which is hard and caused arguments and different things. I think we're being a wee bit dramatic with the glue sticks and all, but that's what it's like playing in the dark when no floodlights and things like that. So how do you feel coming out of your own state just to play football? Angry. The way our own state doesn't have facilities and we can't use the things that's on our doorstep. And we'll have to play in the dark and all. What? Ah. Oh, yes! <laughs> hey, 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 of course I was in Scozy for Frank's sake. I wasn't, it was over the bar. No chance I was in. There's a post, up to there, across here, down to there. No, it wasn't in. All right. It was not in, mate. Think of them, that's not been in. Tell us what, if I was in, I'm way home. You can find yourself in new post, new ball, see you later. I way home, we got mummy's cold.
important for us as a council to obviously have your input into uh, whatever process we're, we're working on. And it's very important that uh, your voice is heard, uh, particularly given the fact that uh, there seems to be this sort of myth that it's just the adults that are actually consulted, and it shouldn't be the case, it should be the case that particularly the youth need to be consulted as well. What effect would it have if it was here? What would it do? Give you something to do, other than stand about and drink, really. You know? Do you really think it would be useless? Yeah, definitely. Why? Bring everyone closer. Bring us to it. You're not in gangs or groups or nothing. Yeah. I'll be down there if you're on the night or something. Sure, yeah. we go out on Tuesday night to uh, Tuesday night to Scott Street. Yeah. 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 Where are you for, boys? Scott Street. We're just out here tonight to play football and give us something to do, just get us off the streets, so well. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. I had a Scott Street and we all paid two pound each to get a taxi out here. Like five miles out of town, so it is like brilliant. Like you've got the floodlights so you can play it in the dark and you've got the football nets and you can also play a different type of sports on it and all and we've got the fence around it. Just you can play it at any time like and rain, hail or snow you can still play on it like so you can just give you something to do. I think the residents and everyone in Kilgamine would like it. I think it would benefit the whole community. Like it's not just for people our age, just people Younger than us and people older than us, like them ones just away there, they were all maybe 20s and 30s, so just get everyone engaged in sport. These are community leaders of tomorrow, and if we invest the right time and effort and resources in them, this will reap dividends for this community in the future. Uh, certainly, there's plans to regenerate certain parts of this, particularly the community centre, but it needs to be in line with what the community actually wants. And we certainly have uh, seen a strong desire from local young people and other residents for facilities such as a mugger, and we'll certainly be supporting the residents in trying to get that. There is there was antisocial behaviour, like on and off, but it's it's quieting down. But it's not as bad as it was. But hopefully, in the future, it will be non-existent that we can get facilities and stuff upgraded in the estate itself. Like. And what type of facilities would those be? Well, maybe sporting facilities and maybe a youth centre or something out there. Bigger uh, set up for them, for them to go to and keep them away. Maybe like a mugger pitch or a 3G pitch or something in the area to, because they're essentially they have to go out of the area yeah. for such facilities like they're having to travel to Craig Alvin, Lurg, and Scott Street and different places out of the area and they have said we can want to have our own in our own area. When I was growing up in the area, there was, there was what's here now was there then. That's from when I was eight, nine year old, so we've been there 20, 25 years and there hasn't been one single change in the area. The parks haven't changed any, the football pitch hasn't changed any. The young people are still standing at the shops doing what I was doing, growing up right through school. Most of them are leaving school like I did, without GCSEs, without any form of education, any career prospects really, you know. And the councillors need to realise the young people growing up are the people who's going to be voting in the future. And if they don't start doing their job, I urge the young people not to vote for them. It doesn't matter that they're a unionist councillor, they're not doing anything for you. Don't vote for them. The message we get from young people all the time is there's nothing to do. And I believe that we need to have provision equally right across the whole of the Craig Alvin Borough in relation to sports activity and different events that young people can take part in. That they can have some form of ownership in the area because uh, a lot of areas at the minute have started to do programs like Young Citizenships and all of that. I think that's an excellent way of doing it. So I think provision and facilities within the area is important to, to keep young people happy in them and give them activities to do. You know, there's a lot of kids who come in and they would come in for a lot of criticism and yet I ask them to do something and to do it hand and heart and do it well. There's a lot of them would be said they're not honest, but they actually are honest. You know, you've only a look at the charity boxes inside the shop it's the kids would fill them, so there is good in them, but it's just to come in for a lot of criticism. As I say, I just think it's a lack of opportunities in the estate for them. Like. There was a foreign fella who lives in the front row, well, just across from the bonfire. And for him, we wouldn't have had a bonfire last year because he 
give up his spare time to take us out to a factory and get pallets. And he must have got us maybe four or five hundred pallets like so he did. What would you say that meant to you as a group? Someone going out of their way to do that when it's not even their culture? Well, yeah. quite a lot. Like, it was decent of them, it was very decent. So we, we respect them now. Like, <laughs> so like, and that there sort of give us a different light to look at mm. the foreigner people. Like, people. At the end of the day, they're human. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah.